On November 13th, the Supreme Court will hear oral arguments in the case Unite Here versus Mulhall. In this case, the Supreme Court will answer the question whether or not an agreement between a union and an employer where the employer is uh, providing some sort of assistance to the union uh, violates Section 302 of the Labor Management Relations Act. The Labor Management Relations Act, Section 302, essentially makes it legal for an employer to pay, lend, deliver any money or any other thing of value to a labor union. The statute was uh, written by Congress in 1947 as part of the Taft-Harley Amendment to the National Labor Relations Board to essentially um, stop corruption in unions, to, so to stop the rackets in the unions. In Mulhall, there, is no, there was no uh, evidence and the plaintiff never pleaded that in fact there was any corruption involved in the case. The argument that the plaintiff made was that the very act of the employer providing assistance to the union was in violation of Section 302 of the Labor Management Relations Act. What was this agreement about? Essentially, uh, in this agreement, the union uh, promised the employer to back uh, a, 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 an initiative in the legislature to provide some benefits to casinos. The employer was a casino. Uh, and the union also promised not to picket, boycott, or otherwise uh, you know, engage in any um, conflicts with the employer. In return, the employer gave a number of things to the union. The first of all, um, it would um, voluntarily recognize the union if the union got a majority support from the employees. Number two, it would give the union access to the employer's premises so that the union can get um, workers to sign up to the union. Number three, uh, the employer also would provide the union with a list of employees that it could use to go out and campaign and get support for the union. So it all has to do with organizing workers in this particular uh, employer and the employer giving things that the employer normally doesn't have to give to the union, a employee list, um, a access to the workplace, um, and neutrality. Um, right? Section 302 of the Labor Management Relations Act has existed for many years, since 1947. This issue now is coming up because unions are being are more aggressive, let's say, in organizing workers in this fashion through voluntary recognition and by making deals with employers. But it's not a new practice. It's been there for a very long time. Um, so uh, in Mulhall, uh, the 11th Circuit decided that, in fact, uh, these kinds of agreements could be a violation of Section 302 of the Labor Management Relations Act and set the case back to the dis district court so that it could find out whether or not, in fact, the purpose of this agreement was to corrupt the union. Uh, the Supreme Court took the case, uh, right, granted certiorari because other circuits had decided the opposite way, so there is an, right, there's a split uh, between the circuits. Um, and so it's now going to be deciding this issue uh, and resolve, uh, hopefully, the, the question before the courts. In my opinion, the Supreme Court will likely uh, reverse the 11th Circuit in this case. And the reason why I say that is that, number one, uh, right, Section 302 of the Labor Management Relations Act has been there for a very long time. This has been the law for a very long time. And why change the law now? Um, number two, the purpose, as I said, behind this statute was to stop the racket, stop corruption, basically stop the mob uh, in, the ma in, in the unions. And in this case, there was no evidence that that was at all going on. The, pl the plaintiff, again, wanted to argue that the agreement period was providing the kind of assistance that was in violation of Section 302 of the Labor Management Relations Act, and that just goes against uh, the purpose of Congress. So in my opinion, uh, the court will likely uh, reverse the 11th Circuit. Of course, we don't know uh, what the court will do. They may find other reasons um, uh, to, uh, to reverse. Or, you know, as some may argue, the court, uh, this particular court, is um, uh, political and perhaps not very friendly to labor unions. 